The final spill plume model we're going to look at is presented by PD7974 Part 2. More accurately, this is a number of models where each one is tailored to a precise set of circumstances. If the plume is free and there is no entrainment into the plume sides, then the equation to use is shown here. It would be unusual if this model were to be used because it is not often that there is no entrainment into the plume sides. It would only occur if the plume was bounded on each side by walls throughout its entire ascent. Where the plume is free and there is entrainment into the plume ends, then this is the formula to use. Let's do an example using this model. In the previous equation, L represented the distance between the channeling screens, which is also the width of the spill plume at the spill edge. If there are no channeling screens, then you might remember that we add together the width of the balcony, or the ceiling outside the opening, to the width of the opening to give us a figure for the width of the spill plume at the spill edge. This gives rise to the equation which is used where there are no channeling screens. You can see that, the equation in, that in the equation, L has simply been replaced with WO plus WB. That is the width of the opening plus the width of the balcony, or the distance from the opening to the spill edge. Remember that WB should not be more than uh, 1.5, and it's, it, the model also states that WB should not be more than WO, which is unlikely. If WB, the distance from the opening to the spill edge, is more than 1.5 metres, then it's normally recommended that there are channeling screens. Let's do an example using this model. 